Hello everybody, this is Adrian from Autobus.my and we're now at Proton Center of Excellence to check out the 2019 facelifted Proton Iris. Alright, as you guys can see, we're now in the restricted compounds of Proton's uh, private test track. And we're about to go to try out the facelifted iris. We're gonna do like a slalom test, we're gonna do a high speed test, we're gonna do uh, a low speed test to see what other improvements of the refinement, as well as testing out the GK UI infotainment system. And that is Dennis Wong. Right, so before we head on to the test track to try out the new cars and the improvements, let me bring you on a closer look of the facelifted iris. So lots of changes have done to the cosmetic to make it a little bit more sporty. This is the top spec 1.6 premium variant as you can tell by the black roof treatment. Starting from the back, you now get a rear spoiler, shark fin antenna, this black trim across with the proton badging. That's the new family uh, design motif. The iris badge, new bumpers, uh, gives the car a lot more of a planted profile. Very nice. A uh, very interesting thing about the colours on the facelifted iris. They've all been taken from Geely's colour library. So this colour is developed with um, in collaboration with Geely. And what's interesting is compared to the existing or the pre-facelift iris, this blue is a lot more has a lot more sparkles in them instead of the flatter colour. The white there is really nice too very solid. That grey is uh, on the X70. You've seen it in the X70. Uh, the only colour that they've maintained is the ruby red which is uh, carried forward from the pre-facelift model. Uh, all of the cars have this new wheel design measuring 15 inch in diameter wrapped in 18555R15 profile tyres. I quite like the new design, the 10 spoke fan blade design as Proton calls it. Check out the front, you have this new uh, ethereal bowl design motif with infinite weaves like you see on the X70 inside. New bumpers, a little chrome trim that runs across like this. Small little details like this really make a difference on make, uh, giving the car a more premium look. The LED daytime running lights have been uh, restyled at, as with the bumper and the lower intakes. I quite like this, this design look. Ooh, quite nice huh? This is a very initial first look. This is the blue, this is the white. I actually really like the white compared to the black. Contrast against the black uh, bits around and the black roof. Wow, it actually looks really good. Right, so we're now going uh, around Proton's test track in the facelifter Iris. They have done three, almost 350 improvements to the car little bits and pieces here. Um, the presentation was uh, talking about NVH has improved, braking performance has improved, and uh, the transmission tuning has improved, the CVT at least. So we're in the 1.6 premium spec, 1.6 litre VVT engine, natural aspirator, four cylinder. Uh, okay, exciting times. Okay, immediately the CVT transmission, it, it loses out on that jerking motion from the pre facelift model. Very responsive. Okay, first turn of the wheel. Very gentle. For those of you who have never come into, you know, this is a very exclusive place. Proton's test track, the banking is really, really steep, and first time drivers will, will actually have like bit of a phobia when going up to the bank. It's quite scary yeah. at times. Yeah. And we're now going at about 100. NVH has noticeably improved. I don't hear a lot of wind noise. I don't hear a lot of transmission whine. And yes, we're taking this banking at 100. Yeah. The Iris has always been known for its handling prowess. Once at the exit, I'm going to give it the full beans. Very responsive. The transmission is very, very responsive. A lot quieter now. And top speed here is 120. This feels very, very nice. And 
120 kilometers per hour, I'm pulling less than 3,500 RPM. That's the beauty of a CVT. Okay, 110, spanking, a bit scary. You Put feel the G-force. Put some throttle. Okay. There you go. Whoa. Ah, okay. Right, and we're slowing down. That was, that was a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. Okay. Okay, that's a very short but sweet drive in the facelifted Proton Iris. I'm just gonna hop out and try out the GKUI infotainment system. Alright, uh, I really like this new infotainment system. I also really like the instrument cluster. Really nice design. I like the fonts. Very sleek. And I also like this. Rear, frameless rear view mirror. It does not have auto dimming function, so you still have to manually flick it down here. Controls are the same, feels the same. The gear lever, the different gear lever, is only exclusive to this 1.6 premium variant. The rest of it still gets the old old style where the knob is on the side. Two USB charger ports. Yeah, that's carried over. Carry over. The seats, the seats are a little bit different. Red stitching. Red stitching on the steering wheel. This car has a lot of very sporty touches, I feel. In terms of the stitching, the way the delivery on the seats with blue center stripes. Overall, this is a very interesting and premium improvement compared to the pre-facelift model. This, this really changes things up. So one thing I forgot to mention on the facelifted Iris is that the GKUI-based touchscreen infotainment system comes with the high Proton voice command feature. But unfortunately, I forgot to roll my cameras. But the voice command feature works very similarly to what you get on the X70. So click on the top right hand corner to watch High Proton in action. Oh, another thing is Proton has changed the illumination, the background illumination of all these buttons into white, from red to white. I'm sure it'll look really, really good at night. Another feature they've added to the facelifted iris is the reverse camera now has dynamic guidelines. So as I turn my steering wheel, the guidelines turn too. This is a very welcome addition. One more very nice and important touch they've done to the facelifted iris is to introduce black headliner. And it really just changes the whole cabin, cabin ambience to be a lot more a lot more sporty, a lot more premium. It ties in very well with the rest of the color team. Oh, not bad actually. Oh, even the the side mirrors here. The arrow buttons are illuminated. White. These two. Overall, the facelifted Iris is quite an impressive product with lots of uh, improvements and lots of new features added to the car and it really makes the car a more competent competitor in the B segment hatchback. We're now awaiting for the official launch of the facelifted 2019 Proton Iris and stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. My name's Adrian and I'll see you guys in the next video.